I'm John Seymour, and we're here with a wonderful Beverly Kelly. Thank you, John. Yes. So um, you work at uh, Habitat for Humanity, right? Yes, I'm the executive director. Um, what uh, belief are you putting into action at Habitat? Well, our mission is is to bring people together. Part of the mission is to bring people together to build homes, communities, and hope. And we do that by providing homes to low-income families and ramps for um, people with mobility issues, while also um, letting the community be a part of all those builds by volunteering. What is your position in Habitat? I'm the executive director, so I am the one who oversees the construction. I have worked on construction sites, and it really is kind of cool. It's still on my bucket list to help do a roof. But um, I have worked, and I've, I've worked every year on, on Women Build, as well as going some other days and working on construction. But um, So I oversee it, and I see my overseeing it as making sure there's funding for the houses and making sure that the construction crew have what they need to be able to run that part of the business. And the restore, and then I of course oversee the office where all the finances and the family partnering, taking care of the families and all the fundraising and all that's done, I run that too. And that's really where my office is and where the bulk of my time is. How did you get started with Habitat? Someone that I knew said, well we need some help at Habitat. So I just went there two days a week and I was just helping do some fundraising and doing some things. And the executive director left and they asked me if I would fill in and I really didn't want to because I was getting ready to retire and I said yeah I'll do it for a couple months until you figure out who should be next and I was having so much fun that I became the executive director. What uh, does a person have to go through to get a house from Habitat? First they come and they attend what we call a financial fitness class and they come and they learn what it is like to have a mortgage because most people that these are first time homeowners so they've never gone through this whole process. So they come and then we check out their um, credit score and what debt they have. If they have quite a bit of debt then we have people who work with them to help eliminate debt so they have a credit score where they can get a mortgage. Once they are what we call mortgage ready, they agree to um, be get in the program to become a Habitat homeowner. And in that program, there are many things that they have to do. They have to either build their home, work on our construction sites, or some people just simply are not physically able to do construction. They can volunteer at the ReStore and each family needs to have 500 hours of sweat equity before they're eligible for a house. Once each adult in the home has done 100 hours, they can choose what house that they would like to be theirs. But they really are a part of the whole process of building their, and most of them work on their own home. So they move into a home that they've actually helped build. And once they have completed all the criteria, then they, um, and the house is done, they actually have a mortgage. We sell them the home. Okay. So I'm guessing not a lot of a lot of people get these homes. How many do you think do? Well, we are averaging two to three families a year. We're averaging getting right now getting completing two to three in 14 months. We did three families and got them into homes. Um, this is our 30th year in existence. I believe we have done over 150 homes during that time. We right now have 62 active mortgages, so the rest of them have paid off their mortgages. Thank you so much for coming in, um, and uh, thank you for helping out the community. Well, and thank you for thinking of us and letting us tell our story. Thank you. Of course, we, we very much enjoy telling your story.